I know a lot of people are watching very, very closely the work being done to port Windows 11 to the Microsoft Surface Duo. Just the other day, I talked about the fact that a really big update was coming, an update that would solve one of the big problems with Windows 11 on Surface Duo. That was the fact that you can't actually charge the device. Well, that update has come out. There are some caveats I need to mention about it, and there are also a lot more things going on inside this update. So let's first turn our attention to this thread by Gus, who is the person behind this project. This driver update was 750 megabytes, actually a little bit more than that. It was very, very sizable, and that's because there was a lot going on in this update. He says, first off, charging now works at slow speeds for now. Would expect improvements coming soon for faster charging speeds. Okay, so this is the first place where I have to add in a caveat. Now, this may be fixed by the time this video has come out, but right now there are apparently some issues with this charging. So I installed this and got a blue screen of death, did all kinds of things, reinstall and tried just tons of things to try and get this to work, and I kept getting a blue screen of death. It would not boot. Eventually, Gus provided me with a new UEFI file that would disable the charging, and that did allow me to reinstall Windows and to uh, boot. Apparently, this is a problem that is affecting, like, somewhere around half of the people that he has spoken to. Some people are charging fine, booting fine. Some people, like myself, are not able to actually boot into this. Now, he actually did send me a new UEFI file that would try to address this, okay? He thinks he's fixed it. I have not tried to test it yet because it would require reinstalling windows again and i think i've done that already 42 and a half times in the last few days and i frankly just don't have the energy to do it right now so i'm going to show you what we've gotten now uh, the charging thing may be fixed it may not it will be fixed in short order so whether or not that's happened or not i'm sure that it's coming very very soon but we have to do we have to you know put that caveat uh, there for now of course, we have more power management drivers to be installed, and he had help with someone for doing that. Uh, content adaptive brightness control is now supported on Duo, and I can kind of show you this because it does work, right? You just saw a moment ago that actually my brightness was like really, really high. Uh, but the brightness stuff does seem to be working a little bit better now. It does tend to, whenever I boot in, it tends to be like way too bright. And you may notice that when I do this, like it's not consistent. Like the screens are of different brightness as they kind of flicker around. But I have noticed, depending on what's on the screen, sometimes the brightness will kind of change. And as you might have just seen there, the brightness of the room did seem to have an... Yeah, there we go. It brightened up a little bit too. So adaptive brightness in different ways uh, is working, you know, relatively well. He does say that the pedometer is, is uh, supported and working, though currently we'll be able to tell if you're running or walking, but that is coming soon. Tablet optimized experience that was shipped as part of Windows 11 22H2 are now here on Duo as well. So the little uh, Surface Neo style taskbar down there is something that you're able to actually do. I don't remember if I actually have that installed here. Let me look real quick. All right, I must not have uh, the right version installed. I am fully updated, but the settings should be right there, and it is not. But at any rate, it is there, theoretically, and can function if you have updated uh, to the 22H2 update, whereas apparently I have not. There was a recent regression where MTP stopped working, and now that is fixed. But at any rate, okay, so there's a lot there. And I can say that just from using it, from messing around with it a little bit since this thing has installed, that things are, are becoming really quite stable. Sometimes touch response at the top of the screen is a little bit wonky. But anyway, stuff is getting quite stable. And, and honestly, like it's fairly performant, if I'm being honest. Now, obviously, you know, the charging stuff is still very, very close to being fixed at this point. Audio, you know, from the speakers is not a functional thing just yet. Let's click on a video and you can kind of see how it is loading into a web page. Let's launch the file explorer over on that side. But I will say, you know, something else I mentioned in one of my prior videos was that it was a little bit crashy. It would crash in standby and so forth. And I don't know that I can say that that's fixed. But I will say that it seems to be more stable. Like I've had this thing, you know, in Windows and just kind of hanging out on a few different occasions since this last driver update. And I've not gotten a crash yet. Now, when it's in standby close, that might still be an issue. But I, I definitely do think that it is becoming more and more stable over time. So like I said, you know, there's still some hurdles to be jumped. But man, we are getting really close to jumping said hurdles. The UI still might not make a ton of sense for this particular device, which I can demonstrate thusly if I, you know, take 
edge out of uh, being maximized and I try and drag it to this other screen, I wind up getting snap layouts, right? Like I want to bring it over there, but I can't because it just snaps. So you kind of have to like very delicately drag it about half, you know, part of the way and then pick it up over here and then try and drag it. So like there's still a lot of stuff that's going to have to happen to make the UI like really make sense on this device using touch input with dual monitors like that. But a lot of these little problems have definitely been solved. I mean, cellular calling has some work to be done, but it is possible. Text messaging is possible. Cellular data is possible. So we are definitely moving along quite nicely. Guys, if I hear or I test myself and determine that the charging thing is absolutely fixed, I will update you guys on that. And it may be fixed already. I just haven't tested the thing that might be the fix. But again, I just didn't have the time or energy to get it done. So wanted to give you guys this update anyways. And like I said, I will give you more updates as things do go on. Of course, I will link in the description to this project. This is also going to be in a playlist of videos covering this a whole bunch more tutorials on how to do it so forth and so on guys hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on more content like this i'll see you on the next one and until next time stay nerdy my friends